are planning to do a range test and a performance test of the electrical snowmobile. It's uh, really nice weather outside, it's sunny and it's uh, perhaps only minus 10 below. We had really cold weather here for some time. Um, I've been driving this a lot because it's really fun to drive it. Also done some improvements. I it changed uh, the front suspension to a stiff one. It's a Fox Air. I had it uh, lying in my shelves. I also bended this uh, fender up because it, when I was compressed it got stuck underneath the belt. And uh, it really works well. This idea with uh, isolate the, the Indian Bay was a, a really good thing because I've been driving, as I said, perhaps minus 15 below and uh, it's still warm inside the compartment and uh, the battery capacity had not been, uh, to say, disimproved. So it works. Now I'm charging uh, it up. I'm going to check the voltage. And then I will drive as far as possible and then I check the voltage again to see the range and uh, perhaps also top speed. Uh, the battery capacity is 4 kilowatt hours so it's going to be really really interesting to see what kind of mileage you can get out of it. So I will, uh, as I said, charge it up and then I will go outside driving. We can check the battery and it's uh, 9404. It's not uh, 96 volts and it depends on, I think these uh, batteries are not the best. It was the cheap ones from China and I don't think they are properly balanced. Here you can see my GPS watch. So I will uh, start this one and then I will ride and I also get the uh, the range and top speed and average speed. So I will uh, start this test now. Yeah, ignition on and uh, start watch. Five minutes and uh, almost two kilometers. And the voltage is uh, 80, 89. I've been riding for 12 minutes and 4.3 kilometers and the battery is uh, 86.7 It's really cold Ah, 
Now the BMS shut off. Now I have to disconnect the, the plus. Well, I put it back and now we see if it works. Yeah. Voltage is uh, eighty-seven point seven. Yes, I see here, I've been riding for 21 minutes and 6.6 .6 kilometers and the voltage is uh, 86 Yeah Yeah, now the BMS broke again and I've been riding for 7.6 6 kilometers and 24 minutes. And I didn't uh, pull the throttle that hard. So I will uh, restart again and see how long we can go. Well, now the BMS stopped again and I've been riding for 26 minutes and 8 kilometers. Now I think uh, I go back to the workshop. Now it stopped again. I only got uh, 100 meters. So I think uh, we'll reach the end of the range. And it's uh, my fingers are not that happy with this, but uh, 26 minutes and 8.2 kilometers. 
Now I'm gonna try to get this one into the workshop. Well, the battery is flat. The BMS uh, will not restart, so I've been pushing this one. It's not that far. But I'm starting to get a bit tired. <laughs> 84.2 volts. I don't understand why it doesn't restart, but it doesn't. Yes, that was the range test, and uh, it switched off at uh, 84 volts. And I tried to restart the controller or the BMS, but it uh, didn't work, so I had to push it the last. To 300 meters, but uh, the snow is quite hard, so it wasn't that tough. But uh, our range 8.2 kilometers and uh, drive time 26 minutes with this 4 kilowatt hour battery pack. But as I said, uh, it's only charged to 94 volts, so I think uh, the cells are not that good or maybe a bit unbalanced. But uh, was uh, the cheapest China batteries. Uh, you can uh, see in the heavy duty battery pack video how I built this one. And, uh, I think I can do some improvements uh, if I change the, the battery pack. I also have these double BMW battery packs uh, I can uh, put on top of the snowmobile and I can make a seat, I can sit on top of it, but I will not do that now. Um, yeah, I got a bit tired while pushing this, <laughs> but uh, hope you enjoyed and see you in next video, bye bye!